Hello everyone and welcome to Kavery Gaming with us today we are starting a brand new playthrough of Absolove End of Gods. So this describes itself as a Viking horror game which is based around all of their mythology but uh, with a modern twist so let's hop into it let's see what happens and let's see if it is actually a scary game. Okay good start. Look around. I don't mind. Whoa it's a big face. Oh, lots of faces. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm on some sort of ancient table inside a very modern looking lab. This reminds me of that uh, voice from Portal. Who are you? Is what I said. Oh wow! Okay. I wonder why your eyes are off. Yes, let's. So one thing I do love about the Vikings, uh, their whole mythology, is their tattoos. Like the tattoos on our uh, protagonist's arm, there were absolutely amazing. Um, one, four, three, six. One, four. Ooh, okay. One, four, three, six. Okay. Ah, uh, so far so good. Oh, I can rotate it. There we go. Where is the last light? Oh, there we go. How are you going to unplug my throat? Oh, no, no. What the hell? Oh, they just... They've just done some surgery to me eyeballs. What the hell did you do to me? Shut up! You cannot understand me. Stop straining and it will really break through. You will never see me. Then it happens because you are here for me and I will be forced to bring you some breakfast on the me. I seem to be annoying the computer here, which is always a good, good thing to do. Oh, okay. Sight. Ooh, is this like Eagle Vision from the Assassin's Creed series? Oh, is this going to be like my torch? I don't know what the different symbols mean. Okay, let's pick one that actually just looks cool. Um, uh, let's go for this one. Have I done something wrong already? Okay, so so far, getting big portal vibes. Big portal vibes. I'm guessing I need to escape. What was it? F. There we go. So, I'm guessing this is going to be like my torch. Oh, I've got a little bar at the top there. How, oh, it does come back quite quick. Is there a way to escape? Is there a way to escape? Oh, oh, oh. There's something there. Whee! Okay. Okay, now I'm getting alien isolation vibes. Okay, so it is like my torch. He will come after you, and, and I don't know what he will do to you. The myth has taken control over everything. You have to find me right away. 
the myth. Oh, the Bifrost display system. Oh, okay. Keys, home screen, audio logs. Oh, okay. Awesome. So, oh yeah, definitely very modern. We're in some sort of uh, server room. Oh, computers. We like computers. Okay, so somewhere in here should be symbols. 6725. There we go. Oh, no, you idiot. 25. There we go. Ah, so it, I see. You can't really walk around with the sight on all of the time. Roots. Whoa, that is dark without the sight on. That is dark. Oh, there you go. There's the roots. What was that? That is a quite exaggerated lean. What was that? What? That looked like a person crawling, but they definitely had horns. Okay. Okay. Can I go round? Yep. Can I go up? See, one of the things that attracted me to this game was they said it was very similar to Alien Isolation, which is a fantastic game ba from 2014 based in the Xenomorph universe. So by all means, go and check out my full playthrough on my channel. Whoa! Okay. Head towards the light. What could possibly go wrong? I feel like if I'm not walking around with my sight on, I'm going to miss stuff. Okay, demon. Demon. Definitely some sort of uh, totem. Yeah, why not? Okay. That. Uh oh. Uh, I can't go through there. Okay. I have to say, the graphics on this are amazing so far. I'm fascinated about the meld between um, Viking, the sort of mythology, and uh, the modern aspect of it. Whoa, no, no. Who are you? No, 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 where's the site? The hell? Where'd he go? Oh, he's there. Okay, we're we getting into sort of the sneaky, sneaky bit now. You really can't see very far with this sight on. There's a big fan there. And there's going to be... It's going to be an awkward stage where I'm going to run out of sight. I'm going to have to sit in the dark to try and get my sight back. In fact, there we go. That is how dark it is, ladies and gentlemen. Pitch black. Can't even see my hand in front of my own face. Moving on. There's no health bar, which is interesting. Okay, so we've got some weird sort of evil thingy but bobs. Moving on. There's lots of fans. Lots of fans in this. Shift to run. Why would I need to run? Where am I going? There's a dude there. Oh no. 
recharge my sight. Come on. Okay, I will say that this game is making me feel tense already. No. Stay there. You cannot see me. It is dark. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Good weird antler man. I'm hoping this all gets explained at some point. Like, am I some sort of experiment going on? Ooh, hello. Oh, no. Okay, it's fine. He's going away. Look at the little butt cheeks. Some ominous screaming going on in the background. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Good antler man. Ah, lower cooling. Oh no, his mask fell off. Hello? Can I... Can I... I want to chip... No, there we go. That's weird. Anything come up with the symbol to tell me to interact? Okay, we're just going to sit in pitch darkness with a crying demon and let the sight come back. Something sounds like it's charged up. No jump scare. Okay, it's fine. Okay, so we've got two security doors. Blue stone. Collectible found. One of twenty-eight. Okay, so I've got to go up there. Ah, so the sight is useful. The sight is very useful, as well as being able to see in the dark. Probably should have realised that by now. You can't sprint in event. That's a bit frustrating. Let's drop down. I keep hurting myself, but there's no health bar. Oh, it's another one of those soul stone thingies. We're at a save point. Yes. That is a lot of blood. That is a lot of blood. Thank you very much. Moving on. I've been leading my team to go through the routes to fetch artifacts for a board corp for over three months now. I know it's not my place to question my orders, but I can no longer deem transportation through the routes as safe. It wasn't a problem. But I thought the other words were inhabited. There we go. Dead. Oh, it's the faces. Last time Team 4 went through, we were fully armed, and still only half of us came back. Still well, this doesn't seem stable. I'd like to talk to your health and safety advisor, please. Okay, going up. I don't think this place is uh, very well constructed. Bits falling apart all over the place. It's like they're trying to kill me. Another thing that I'll say is really quite cool about this game is the um, the soundtrack. It's very... Um, it's starting to build anticipation for something. What? I don't know. Into the vents we go. There seems to be a lot of vents so far in this game. Who the f oh no, it's a big wolf, big wolf. I wonder if that's um Fenris. I want to say Fenris. I will admit I am not completely up to date on my Viking mythology. I just love love Vikings, and Viking seems to be the. Hi. Well, aren't you a charmer? That way, then. Yeah, Viking seems to be the running theme at the moment. You know, we've uh, not long had uh, Viking Assassin's Creed come out. And now a Viking horror. Oh, 
Oh, another collectible. We're on a roll, two of 28. Uh, let's recharge my sight a little bit while it's a bit lighter. Okay. I guess I'm following the uh, snowflakes. I don't know what that noise is. What the hell are you? Seems like a very good place to save it. Where's my sight? There it is. So that's a locked door. 6725. And we had that code before. 6725. There we go. Oh, nose. Sneaky times. Time for some sneaky bicky. There's a snowflake there. I guess I'm going towards the snowflake. Seven nine one three. Okay. Seven nine one three. Seven nine one three. So what was that code for then? Hello, seven nine one three. I'm sure it'll. I'm sure it'll come in obvious. Oh, there we go. It's exactly what it's for. Uh, seven nine one three. Artifact research. Kind of crazy research. What they're doing down here? We've already know they're doing some sort of bodily experimentation. I've had my eyeballs replaced so I can see in the dark. The easiest thing to do would have just been to eat carrots. Oh, this definitely has alien isolation vibes. Uh, where's my sight? Well, I don't think the snowflake was particularly useful there. It's the only place I can go. I'm loath to sprint at the moment. Okay, don't know what that symbol is, but we're just gonna. I'm not even gonna step in it. I've played enough games to know that you don't just step into stuff. Woo, hello. That sounds big, whatever was just moving. Alright. Bye. Alright, let's uh, just recharge for a second. So it's saying vent, but it's also saying find a way to open airlock. I'm guessing that's this way then. Again with the vents. I think I've spent half my time in this uh, first episode in vents. Whoa, now we're getting into the mythology of it. Dr. Lisa Swenson, Supervisor, Day 3 of Tablet Analysis. Well, I was toilet roll. I received several stone tablets from a uh, long time with inscriptions apparently symbolizing the nine realms of the world tree. Initial analysis shows oh. that the tablet emits an energy field boosting cell regeneration. End of note. Um, the nine realms of the tree, Idrisil. And I know that from watching such programs as Thor and the like. Where am I supposed to be going now? Do we not have a map? We really don't have a map. There's a dude there. Okay, throw a caution to the wind. I'm running. So there was a save point. I had to come into here. Right, okay. I think it's just to, to allow me to move around some sort of blockage. 
Yeah, that door was, um... Okay, so I know where I am in my mind. Recharge the the old site. I see that mechanic's going to become interesting. Right, so we've been that way. What's through here? I'm now getting Stranger Things vibes. Okay, sight doesn't reveal much to me here. Okay, so not this way. You're getting lost already. We know there's a dude here. Someone's crying. Why is someone crying? Anthology research, note six. The expeditions to Asgard have proven fruitful yet again. The team brought back several shields that seem to possess a number of strange capabilities which are completely out of our control. According to the myths, these shields seem to have belonged to the winged creatures known as Valkyries. The mission of these creatures were to bring dead warriors to an afterlife in Valhalla and must have possessed enormous powers. That is pretty cool. I did not know that about Valkyries. They are awesome looking things. What? Oh, you is not in a good way. Oh my god, it's an alive hand. Oh, good God. Okay, so I had to come to you to find a hand. Okay. Oh, is this the way to open the airlock now? Because I've got... <laughs> got a hand! Oh, there was a joke I could have made at that point. An opportunity missed. Oh my God, how did I get past him? Now we've got some very strange... Oh, no. Didn't want this one. Now some... So it was back here, through here. <laughs> okay, I don't know what that is. That's not Fenris, the giant wolf. Oh, that is some weird mutant thing. With human arms coming out of his back. Oh, please don't be. Please don't be here. Please don't be here. Please don't be here. It's not here. That's good. Okay. Can you give me a hand? There we go. Find a way to open the airlock. Okay, bit disgusting. Bit disgusting. Mythology research, note one. Sarah has shown me a lot of the myths surrounding the ancient objects we have recovered. Just like assumed, most of these stories correspond to seven. with the true events of the past. The hell's that pulsing for? Giants Two, seven, three, four. Giants are very much like the descriptions, but the Vanir and uh, Acer gods differ a lot from their noble fairy tale versions. Some stories are not even close to as gruesome as they are in real life. This is disgusting. Stories later. It's genuinely disgusting. Oh, the pulsating and the dripping. Uh, that is not something I'd ever thought I'd describe in a game. Pulsating and dripping. 2734. And again, hurt myself. That, no health bar. I can't get through there. Turn the side back on. Make sure there's no... What the heck? Sure, it seems like a perfectly reasonable thing to do. Here we go! Well, that's not disgusting at all. I fell out of I fell out of a plant. Okay, guess we're going this way then.
Oh no. Spiders. Why did it have to be spiders? They look a little bit like facehuggers. Oh god, there's noises right behind me. Oh yay. Oh, don't play this game with surround sound headphones. What the? What the? What? No, no. What the hell? Oh shit, what am I doing? Come on. They are not spiders. Oh, and I've lost an arm. Oh, don't tell me back in a surgery table. Oh, I appear to have a robotic hand now. Ah. You would have been five seconds late. The demons would have torn you apart. The great Odin spared your life but left you broken. But that's okay because I fixed you. Oh. No, you know what? Okay. Hello. I made you better. You're very thin. <sighs> Remarkable, isn't it? That's what? disgusting. No, 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 you stay down. The anesthetics haven't left your system yet. Oh, my head. Okay, let's see here. Speech. Oh, I can talk now. Of course, I couldn't talk before. The tissue. Yeah, I gave the bone structure a checkup as well. And the arm? How does it feel? It's not exactly melded onto my body very well. I know. I have a few of my own. <laughs> nice robotic guy. Anyway, I have much to prepare. You rest for now. Okay, you're not going to tell me who you are? Why you saved me? You're not going to tell me anything. Dr. Henrik Anderson. Okay. Oh, I'm Alice, am I? Can, uh, can I not yes. have my hand back? Yes, uh, I fixed your voice and your arm. Who are you? I'm loving What's the. Uh, I'm Henrik Anderson. I'm loving all the symbols and everything. It's brilliant. Of Borkorp. The voice you're hearing is my wife Sarah. <laughs> she's uh, she's up on the surface now. Unfortunately, you and I are stuck down here. Okay. The things happening down there are happening up here as well. And it's getting worse by the minute. What did you do to me? I brought you back from Helheim. Henrik, calm down. I was in Helheim? Henrik Saber almost killed you. I don't want to lose you. Since you already have the prosthetic and so, tell her about it. But yes, please, tell me about my arm. Your new arm holds great power. Charged by Atrium, it can channel a magnificent force. It's based upon ancient knowledge uncovered by my wife. And brought into fruition by Henrik. The arm is called Yengebra. You brought uh, a hand with you. Yengebra. Use the to extract the RFID from it. You'll gain access to all doors with that level of security clearance. Now try this. Scan the hand on the table and then use it downstairs on the lock. I know this is a lot to ask, but we're not taking this lightly. Please, I'll tell you more as you go. Okay, I have level one security clearance apparently. I did wonder how it was going to upgrade. I thought I was going to have to uh, find different arms as I went through. Oh, there you go. So unfortunately, we have run out of time for this episode, so we're going to leave it there. Um, seems a perfectly good place to leave it now that I have just gained a robotic hand. So if you've laughed, don't forget to like it. If you've liked, don't forget to subscribe, and I will catch you all in the next episode. Until next time.